All right, this is part two of Grandma's. We found a bunch of pictures, Nellie Ridland's pictures back in the day, and scanned them. Who's this? There's you and Everett. I think we just looked at that. Uh-oh, who's this? <laughs> this is that, that good picture of Grandma when she was 20 years old, Jeannie thinks. I don't think I was that old. 19, 18? But, boy, that's a picture, though. That's a beautiful picture. That is. Oh. I heard that was the prettiest girl in Harrison. Yeah. Oh, it was. Let's see, let her pass. Talk of the town. And when you'd walk to school from when your parents rented Bud's house? I don't know. You said people, guys would stop and offer you rides. Yeah. You, you remember that? Yeah. But I was a pretty woman. They didn't make it about a prettier than that, did they? They don't. That's my three little sisters. Who are they? My little sister. Elsie. And Marie. Oh, no, that's how you even call them. Myrtle. I don't know. Elsie, Marie, and Myrtle. Yeah? I guess so. Did you take that picture? Huh? Did you take that picture? No. That's funny. That still looks like Myrtle. I mean, she, she's three years old there. Who are these people? That's my grandma. Grandma. Uncle Arthur. That's my dad. No, I think that's my dad. I don't know. Who was taller, John or Arthur? Your dad was taller than his brother? And that's Blanche, right? Yeah. Yeah, this is a picture taken out in Little Falls, Washington. I love this picture. Yeah. I love that there's a log right there. Yeah. That's a great studio, or they took it outside. Who's that? You remember? My, my mom went out on the porch and carried this little baby. I get something on your face. There you go. Go ahead. Bed shut out on the porch. Who is that? My mom's sister, I guess. Hmm. That's out in Washington, isn't it? Yeah. That's so funny. They put babies in those big, long dresses. Yeah. Why'd they do that? I don't know. Well, they put the babies you can hold in your lap. And I just young. There? World War One photo of two soldiers. I don't know. That's your uncle Arthur. Is it? And his friend Tom Dooley. Oh, I forgot. This picture's blurry. I don't know who these people are to you. There's a mystery woman. That's your mom, isn't it? No, I don't think so. You don't? Some people I don't know. You know them? Uh-uh. There's uh, Elsie. Yeah. There's Tom Dooley. Is that your older brother? I think that's a picture of your, uh, the baby that your parents lost on the... Melvin. Yeah. Melvin? Yeah. Yeah. And there's that uh, Harrison Press article on you, too. What's that? Our land. Yeah, this is the aerial photo that some airplane took and they yeah. painted over a well. There's 74. Yeah. Yeah, after the highway went in. Yeah. This is our big house. That's a garage here. Yep. Look. They put your trailers in between them. I tell you, that was a time. It was a time of my life. My bet, huh? I I loved your place. We had that big house. That was really a place to live. I loved it there. That thing was sturdy. Built in 1832. 
And you know what? Those timbers in there were like this thick. They were like three by tens. Oh, yeah. Where's the pond? The pond? I guess the pond's out this way a little bit. Yeah. There's a tobacco barn, right? Slash of tobacco, but you never used it, did you? Where'd you keep the horses? Where was the chicken coop? I believe the horses. This is where you pull the straw up into this barn, right? I guess. And there's your well. Yeah. You remember that story of that guy, the UDF guy who had come and collected the milk? He's talking, says, you know that Paul Stone is the nicest guy in the world? Yeah. Even when I show up at 4 in the morning, yeah. he always turns the light on for me. Uh -huh. But Bud didn't have the heart to tell him that the light just came on automatically yeah. when you turned on the water. Oh, no. Who's that kid? Patrick I Ridlin, I think. I don't know. Yeah, that's Patrick Ridlin. Yeah. Okay. He went and Ma, Jeannie said he uh, ran the Golden Nugget Casino in Vegas oh. for years. I don't know. This is some random postcard about a lumber mill in Washington. This was to your mom. To your Nelly. This was taken just after we left Valparaiso. Huh. Lucille took it. Shirley Jean, James Robert, Dorothy Dolly, Rex Raymond. You know those kids? This is the quarter of that big house where we lived there. Oh, lined up out there, get their pictures taken. Huh. This is Nellie's sheet that I found about the deaths in the family, and she wrote down all the births, too. 1913. This will scare the rats away. Sweet 16, 1913. Oh, Whoever that was. Ruby, your mom's sister, right? I don't yeah, know who these people the are. Her name is Rex. Rex. Oh, the days. Look at that old car. That's got to be 30s. Ruth, nine and a half years old. Nineteen thirty four. Ruth. So early nineteen thirties or late nineteen twenty nine or something. Who's that? I don't know. Old folks. Who are these people? Huh? Who are these people? It's my dad. And Clyde Jackson. Uh, and this is that what I was telling you about. This is solid rock. Natural bridge. It's real high. We walked across that. So Uncle Arthur is the tallest one. You did well as you danced down a little bit. Yeah, Natural Bridge, Kentucky. That is the natural bridge, huh? You took that picture then, huh? I don't know. That's some cave in Iowa. You remember this one? This is you. 
Elsie, Marie, Myrtle, and some of your other cousins, I think. I guess. Well, you remember you being that little? And there's your barn again. Yeah. Before you got cut off by the highway. That was a milking parlor, right? Yeah. 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 That's where the cows come in. Takes the stable. Hmm. You missed that? Huh? You missed milking cows? Yeah. I wouldn't care if we was doing it today. Really? You like to work then, huh? Sure did. Well, folks, today is Wednesday, January 16th, 2013. Just look at all that big bunch of cows. How many cows did you have there? Oh, I don't 40? know. 40? No. 20? I don't know. Looks like about 15 or something. Did they ever get out? Did you have, I guess you had it all fenced in so they couldn't get on the road, huh? Yeah, let's see. We take them across the road for the pasture. We had a lot of pasture over, over on this side of the road, you know. We turned the cows over there. Did you, did you? Grandpa said, didn't he take them up, up the hill sometimes to pass Wee Wee's? Huh? Did they pasture up past Wee Wee's on the hill or no? Just pasture right there? No, not up on the hill. Did you stay right there? Well, I tell you, we had a good life. Yeah? And I worked like a horse, but I <laughs> never cared a bit. I just loved to work. Really did love to work. How come that didn't pass on to me? I'm the laziest person in the world. I know, you know. <laughs> oh, do you remember that story Jeannie told about the Barks truck? The what? The Barks root beer truck that came around New Haven Bend and, and wrecked right in front of the house. Yeah. And all the root beer spilled out in your yard. Yeah. Didn't the ice cream truck do the same thing? I don't know. I think Jeannie said you guys got root beer once and ice cream because of the trucks that went by around the corner. Oh, and you remember the one time, Grandpa, you guys said some drunk came around the corner and went past your house and almost into the pond. Yeah, and that one up did go back there. <laughs> yeah, he did. Did Grandpa pull him out of his tractor? No. Did you call the cops? Uh, Did you call the police? No. Uh, All right. Let's say goodbye to everybody. <laughs> See you guys. End of part two.